Hello everyone, so welcome back. We are going to talk, continue our discussion with the Pouet flow slash parallel plate flow. In the last video, we already saw that uh, we can change the sides of the block mesh ticked. So let's go to system VI block mesh ticked. We have already changed the uh, fixed walls into a bottom, left, and right successfully. And you know, we don't really need to care about the bracket formatting. We've already shown that because the file actually works. So we have a bottom side, a left side, and right side. These are uh, basically what we have edited. And we have also edited the boundary conditions for both velocity and pressure. The initial conditions, especially. Okay, the initial conditions. Now, next thing we want to move on to, next thing we want to move on to is to uh, actually change those boundary conditions from an actual wall. You want to change it from an actual wall into uh, something that's open, a uh, good inflow and outflow kind of a thing. How are we going to do that? Well, first thing first, we got to know that, well, this one was a bit more difficult to figure out. Let's just uh, show you how these things are done. So, let's go to block mesh ticked. And we'll see the type, okay? The moving wall is obviously a wall. The bottom wall is obviously a wall. But the left and right, these are not walls. We want them to be... Uh, open, so to speak. So how do we tell open foam that it's going to be so-called an inlet and an outlet? So the left side is going to be like an inlet, the right side is going to be like an outlet. So how do you tell open foam that? All we need to do is to change this wall type into patch. Okay? <clears throat> patch just tells open foam, okay, I'm not looking at the wall specifically, I'm just looking at a generic boundary where you can like custom define that boundary. Okay, so this is not a ball, we call it just a patch. Just on generic boundary. Okay, so the left side and right side are called patch. The bottom and top are called wall. So if it's not a wall, we call it patch. It's just a generic boundary. Okay. And what is, uh, if you're wondering what this front and back type means, the front and back, they're talking about the Z coordinates. And since we want to do a 2D flow, we want to tell open form, hey, stop, don't calculate in the Z direction. I don't need, I only want 2D flow. So to tell open form that, we give it the type empty. Empty means you don't calculate in that direction. So patch means that this is an inlet slash outlet. Bottom uh, wall means it's a wall. Okay, so we're gonna save this, and then next thing we gotta tell open form hey, I want my I want my velocity there not to be zero. It's not a no slip condition anymore. So we're gonna do. Okay, first thing first, we note that our file has uh, all this mess now, so we wanna clean it up with the all clean command. And look, success. Beautiful. Alright, let's go to the zero file. And let's uh, take a look at the pressure. So do we need to change anything for the pressure? Not really for this wet flow. It's just a top plate moving to the right uh, with a 1 meter per second. So all of these are just zero gradient. Okay. So that's a very important. If zero gradient means the gradient there, you don't go and force a, you don't force uh, any any kind of boundary condition on it. Okay, so you just leave it as it is. That's what zero gradient is talking about. Um, it doesn't mean that oh, uh, I got to force a zero pressure or zero something on it. Zero gradient. The best uh, intuitive way to think about it is just 
leave it there as it is don't touch it don't do anything don't set the values to zero so the the change down there is just zero you leave it there as it is don't do anything okay i'm just gonna quit so let's look at the u file okay the the moving one on top must be moving obviously because it's the more we want to move in the quet flow the bottom was a no slip now that's a must now i'm going to shift these brackets here just to make it look a bit nicer but doesn't really have any value okay okay so the left side and the right side cannot be no slip and they are definite we have already identified them as a patch these are not walls so we can we shouldn't be using a no slip condition so what condition do we use well as said before we just want to leave we want to leave the uh what do you call it we want to leave the velocity as it is okay we want to leave the velocity as it is so that we are going to use this zero gradient file or this zero gradient boundary condition so i'm just going to tell it hey leave my velocity at my left and my right side alone don't do anything to it don't touch it don't try to do anything funny so that's what this zero gradient uh, is for so i'm going to save and then we're going to start running mesh echo foam okay so echo foam is going to run let's do its uh, usual echo foamy business while we um, don't really have much time to chew bubble gum popcorn so it's done already so again we have uh, all these things here and then we're going to touch cuet not full make it para view uh, viewable so i'm going to go i'm going to copy this cuet uh, over i'm going to paste it here this is the old cuet i'm going to delete it i'm going to paste it here let's open para view and now para view is open para view is open we need to look at correct okay if not sure desktop wherever you're putting your open files and look for the correct parallel plate flow so these we don't really need to look for but uh, let's look correct flow aha uh -huh. so we look at this pressure profiles and the velocity profile velocity on top should obviously be the most high you know what i mean the most high is the it should be the fastest on top as time goes by of course so we want to see let's say a velocity plot <coughs> now to do that all we need to do is to use the filters common and we need to look at glyphs filters common and glyphs this will show us the velocity plot but now you can't click it because you need to do something first so look at the properties here it's telling you to apply it doesn't matter what the apply is but it makes the glyph able to be okay never mind let's see how we can make it available so it's quit flow yeah that should do it so yeah just uh, select this thing tell it to apply you select this thing and use the uh, glyph so you have to press apply on the properties first reselect this correct form and go to properties or oh, uh, filters and glyph so this glyph is uh, these are the arrows that we want okay so we're just going to take it wholesale like this we tell it hey i want to look at the velocity okay oh 
Yeah. That's all we need to do. So, okay, what did I do again? Just now this scale array was in P. Okay, so if the scale array is in P, you can't see anything. But you need the orientation array, which tells you how the arrows are pointed. And scale array, scale array which tells you how these arrows, how large these arrows are. You need to tell it is scaled by U. And you just press apply. And we take a look. You see, the top, the top part, if you align it, the top part is going to the right at the fastest, the bottom part not so fast. Can you see? So yeah. This is uh, what the Kuwait flow should be looking like. So if you want to look at the mesh, we use the wireframe on Kuwait to foam. So select the Kuwait flow foam, go for wireframe. And you can see the mesh there. You can see how the file is chopped up, so to speak. So remember we're saying 20 in the Y, 20 in the Y, 20 in the X, 1 in the Z. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 boxes in the X direction, 20 boxes in the Y direction, all evenly divided. So if you want to see our arrows a bit better, we can use this, points, select here and go for points. And you see, Kuwait flow, beautiful. The top is the fastest, and then it goes in a very slow direction. It's similar to what our Kuwait flow should be looking like. So if you see Kuwait flow, you see it's looking like this, and we take a look, velocity profile is looking exactly like this as well. Okay, so this is how Kuwait's flow is done, and we have already we have gone through some of the basic boundary conditions. For example, uh, zero gradient, no slip, and uh, fixed value. And we have also uh, found out that, okay, I need to change my left side and my right side to something called patch in the block mesh dict file. So this is Kuwait flow. So we want to move on to more complicated uh, cases later on but thank you for watching i appreciate it i'll see you guys again bye bye